Alright guys, so I'm going to be doing a vlog type style video. I hope you guys enjoy it. But uh, anyway, the first thing I want to talk about was Speed Cube Shop and what exactly happened. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys can guess, um, it had to do with V cubes because they tried to attack um, about the Shangshao cubes again, which is ridiculous because to my knowledge they are not knockoffs of the V cube. So um, PayPal was laying them win was laying them win the case, and I just decided that it was ridiculous that PayPal can all of a sudden just shut down an account without any proof. So I decided to leave PayPal and um, find another payment solution. And fortunately, it took quite a while to get it all set up and squared away. But now that it is all set up, it functions a lot smoother, is a lot safer for you guys and um, it's just very easy to use so I'm very excited about that and hope that you guys are too. Another thing I worked on while the payment system was down was the reward point system. I set up the reward point system so that if you're a new member and you sign up for the newsletter you can get um, 5 to 10 reward points, it depends what um, I end up actually leaving it at and then um, there will probably be 10 points but anyway and then um, you can also gain points by purchasing products and each point um, can be saved to for future products so if you were to buy um, a cube the more expensive the cube is obviously the more points you get because uh, it's worth more but um, I think this is a cool way for you guys to kind of have something to look forward to and just kinda reward you guys hence the name so um, right now I had a previous reward point system which was working fine, but I decided I'm going to be downloading a new one, which I think will work even better because it's going to uh, enable me to have a lot more features and you guys can get reward points for leaving reviews and different stuff like that. So I think it'll be really beneficial in the end. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So that should be up in a day or two. But um, yeah, while I was also down, again, another thing I went over was I adjusted all of the prices on the website, which was a lot of work, but um, I lowered a lot of the prices to be a lot more competitive and to uh, give you guys um, a good deal. And also, since the May cubing 10% off coupon is was not really able to be used since we went down um, in the beginning of May, I'll be making a new coupon code in the coming days for you guys to use. So um, I hope you guys like all the changes and do hope it was worth it. I really appreciate all of you that were so patient with me during this time and um, stuck with us. So thank you for that. Um, I know there's a lot of new cubes out. So if you guys would like me to look into stocking any of those, let me know. But um, to be honest with you, right now I'm more focused on Worlds 2013. Um, I'm in the process of designing some cool stuff, which um, I'll unveil later at the competition. But one thing I will say is that every registered competitor will be getting um, some some free items at the door which I think is pretty cool that I think that you guys will like so um, I'm just securing that and then um, yeah so I'll also be the sole vendor at the event so this means that I'll have some signs set up so you guys can know how to get there easily but um, I'll have lots of cubes for sale but one thing I cannot sell on the floor is 3x3 three three cubes I want to respect the WCA's policy, so if you guys were interested in buying some 3x3s, um, I could sell them out of my uh, hotel room or something at a designated time, which um, if you guys want to like me on Facebook, um, this, at Speedcube Shop, I'll go ahead and post updates there and then also inform you guys at the vending booth. So um, that takes care of that, but let me know what you guys would like to have being sold at Worlds, like what products do you guys want to see, uh, is there anything that I could do to make the experience better for you guys, let me know because this is for you guys and I'm working hard to make sure that I can uh, improve worlds in any way that I can. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say regarding Speed Cube Shop unless I can remember anything. Um, we are shipping out orders really quickly so that you guys can get your cubes to pr start practicing for worlds so if you need a cube quickly um, we've been shipping out orders generally within um, one hour of it being placed. Uh, this time does vary, obviously, depending on when you place the order in the day. But um, I was shipping out orders pretty late last night just to make sure they can get out early. So I uh, hope that's good for you guys. 
But um, yeah, anyway, in regards to practicing, the original average I was going to show was actually using the Moyu Wei Long Cube. But um, it being white and just having a loose feel, I was locking up a lot and decided that I wanted to start to break in my Cam Cube or Guhong version 2 once again, which has been a cube I've been using for a while and I've set some good times with it. And it's going to end up being my world's cube, I believe, because I really like the Moyu Wei Long and uh, the Huan Ying, but it's just they feel too kind of loose and quick. Uh, I I want to make a more Yu Wei Long Cam Cuber style, but um, I'm going to wait on that a little bit and see, because I think that, that would make the cube um, more controllable, which would fit my cubing style a lot better. And I'm also not used to white plastic, especially with bright stickers, so that makes it kind of tough as well. Um, yeah, we're just about out of time here, but let me know what you guys think of this video, that was kind of a weird solve, so I DNF it, uh, kind of spazzed out, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to try to start making videos again, I know we say it every time, but even if it's just videos like this, vlogs and me solving in preparation for worlds, let me know if you like this kind of video, I'll just talk about stuff that's going on, and uh, any questions you guys have, leave it in the comment section below, I'll try to answer it in the next video, which will probably be a 4x4 average of 12, so I can have a bit more time. So leave your questions down below. Also, don't forget to tell me what cubes do you, would you do you want to see sold at Worlds, and uh, if there's anything I can do to make the event better, let me know. But any, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, it looks like my average of 12 ended up being a 12.44, which isn't too great. Um, they're usually in the 11s, but it'll do. So yeah, thanks, guys.